Many organizations need to have multiple users access to the same mailbox. So, for example, an organization may provide an email address such as info at datum.com, for example, on a public website, and the organization may want to have several users monitor the mailbox associated with this email address to ensure prompt replies to potential customers. In previous versions of Exchange Server, we could create a mailbox for this purpose and then give multiple users access to this mailbox. In 2013, we've simplified the process by giving you a specific shared mailbox. So what we have here is I've come into my Exchange Admin Center and what I have is I have under Recipients, I have a Shared tab. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a shared mailbox for our sales users. So the first thing to do is click our plus button to create a new shared mailbox. And what we're going to do here for the display name is we're going to make this sales information. Next thing to do here, just underneath our organizational unit tab here, what we'll do is we'll put this into sales. Click OK. And then for our email address, we'll make this sales info. Then we need to add some users, so we'll just click our plus next to full access. And what we'll do here is we'll add in Aiden. And we'll also add in, let's have a look down here, let's add, add in Amara as well. Now that we've done that, we'll just select OK. Scroll down a bit further. And what we'll do here under more options is we'll just ensure that we place this shared mailbox sitting on our mailbox database one. And we'll select our save button. And as we can see now, we now have sales information. If we just double click on here. So what we can see is we can see it looks very similar to a user mailbox. So we'll cancel this here. Now we'll just test to make sure that our sales info does indeed work. So what I'm going to do here is just move on to my client machine. And so my client here, all I'm going to do here is just on Outlook Web App, I've just logged in as administrator. And what I'm going to do here is just send a new mail message. So we'll select new mail. We'll send this to sales info. And what we'll do here is we'll do a sales info request. And then we'll just say, please send latest price list. Now we've done that, what we'll do is we'll just send the message. And then what we'll do here is we'll just come into Outlook, logged in as Aiden. And if we have a look here, we've now got the sales information folder sitting down here. And what we can see sitting in our inbox, we do actually have the sales info request. And that's the end of this demonstration, creating our shared mailbox. Thank you.